So basically with compressed air energy storage, the, I won't call it a misconception, but the conception is that there's a lot of energy wasted because you don't store the heat. And while that's true thermodynamically, really what's important is the cost effectiveness and I'll say the net carbon reduction that's achievable with the product. So for example, there are technologies out there that, that compress air and, and store the heat when they're compressing the air and then use the air in a cycle back mixed with the heat to make power. But the challenge with that is they're extremely expensive and they're complicated and uh, a lot of times they're not flexible. And I'll, I'll, I'll talk about flexibility a lot because um, what the challenge that the grid, the energy grid has today in a lot of places is uh, modern power plants aren't running as much because the, the flexibility requirement that's required to be able to follow the energy uh, or the, the load demand is changing so rapidly with renewables coming on and then going away they just can't follow it so they need something that's flexible that can can follow that so you know the misconception with uh compressed air energy storage is that it's this big clunky old technology and it has been around for a long time and maybe i'll use the tesla as an example batteries have been around for a long time but now we have these fancy little cars driving around with batteries you know Power plants can do the same thing with compressed air energy storage. And we just have, I'll say, modernized it so that it uh, works well with the fluctuating grid demand and also works well economically. Um, when you look at our product compared to a battery on a grid scale energy storage system, we typically come in about 40% lower costs and when you're talking about cost with, a, with an energy storage device, you always have to talk about the energy, not the power that it puts out. Um, so a battery might be rated for one megawatt, but if it only lasts one hour, that's one megawatt hour of energy. Our system is uh, on a megawatt hour basis, typically is about 40% less than batteries. So while the heat is not stored, in a compressed air energy system that we have, um, it solves the challenge that the grid has, which is what do I do with this excess solar that I have midday when my load is at one of its low points versus in the morning or the evening when the load is high and I have no solar. So how do I deal with that for those two hour spurts or one hour spurt in the evening. Um, so our system really is geared to uh, modernize an existing power plant and gradually bring in carbon reducing energy storage into the system.